Hello everyone, I am Satyam and in this video we will be uh, covering the BOM in JavaScript. So guys, BOM is a very important topic in JavaScript. Uh, like uh, when you load a website, there are two main things. First one is the DOM that stands for the document object model and second is the BOM which stands for browser object model. Now guys, uh, now suppose you have made a website and you want to know how many users are using Chrome or how many users are using Opera or how many users are using Firefox or what is the screen size of the uh, of my users or how many users are using the uh, uh, the laptops of, of uh, uh, like 13 inches or 15 inches or like how many are if users are using the 4k screens or how many are there for uh, using the uh, mobile phones so all these things matters a lot because we can't like uh, make a website uh, uh, for just one screen size because that will open differently in the other screen sizes and that will make our uh, work uh, uh, like uh, very poor or our uh, website visitors will uh, decrease day by day so we have to keep that thing in mind so bomb in javascript is a very uh, uh, efficient method uh, which is used in javascript so uh, like there are many different things that we can discuss about the bomb uh, like bomb is uh, uh, bomb contains different objects uh, like the window object the screen object and many more objects uh, with the help of which we can like uh, uh, manipulate our website or we can add some behavior to our website so let's die, uh, see what is the bomb and what is the definition of bomb so bomb stands for browser object model in javascript and the modern browsers have implemented almost the same methods and properties for javascript interactivity it is often referred to as methods and properties of the bomb so guys you can see that uh, like there is a, a browser object model in javascript and the bomb stands for uh, and the bo bomb is uh, implemented in all the modern browsers uh, like if you are using opera you are using chrome or you are using safari or you are using firefox uh, and similar browsers so all the modern browsers will um, implement uh, these properties and methods in the same way uh, because they don't want to show different outputs uh, uh, for the same input in different browsers so uh, they are mostly implemented in the same way so like uh, you can use uh, the website uh, you can see which browser is used by the user or or what is the screen size or what are the different things so uh, for that purpose there is also uh, a window object available in the bomb so uh, let's see what is the window object so window object is supported by all browsers so all the browsers uh, uh, available uh, can support the uh, window object it represents the browser's window it basically represents the browser window all global javascript objects functions and variables automatically becomes become members of the window object so uh, all the objects and functions and uh, all the other things that you declare in, in your code are uh, or the global or the, uh, or anything that have the global scope will become automatically the members of the window object so window object is used for like assessing many properties uh, so let's dive into the code and see what we have here so that we can make our website to work uh, uh, like uh, in a better way so here is the first example now uh, like i have used the first the screen object and just like the window object there is a screen object in uh, in the bomb so i can use that so with the help of the screen object we can calculate many things like what is the color depth what is the uh, density uh, of what is the available height what is the available width so um, like suppose i have in the first uh, line i have uh, i have tried to find out the uh, depth color depth like how can i find that then i can find that with the help of screen dot color depth now color depth is a property that tells us um, how many colors can a pixel can uh, a pixel can support in the uh, in the user's computer uh, after that i have screen dot height that what is the height of the screen that i am currently using after that screen dot available width and available height 
now what is the fun of using the height width and available height and available width differently they uh, they these are used differently in the different places so like uh, suppose you have made a um, uh you are using uh, windows or you are using mac or you are using linux so you can use uh, any any of the operating systems uh, so how the how the browser will know uh, like uh, i have made a website suppose i have made a website that opens differently on chrome and differently on firefox and differently on android operating system so how can i get to know that uh, which what is the height of the screen or for which resolution i have to show which content or how to manipulate that content according to the uh, uh, to uh, according to the user so that the user will get the rich experience so uh, i can use the available height and available width because uh, like in the uh, in linux there is no task bar but if you are using windows then there is a task bar there so that depends and that will uh, change the content uh, and change the user uh, number of users and the uh, 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 very much so we have to keep that thing in mind after that uh, we can also check the color depth that we have already seen above so after that uh, i have to use the two functions uh, first one is the go back and other is the go forward now go back and go forward functions contains the two simple calls to other functions which is window dot history dot back and window dot history dot forward now history dot backs keeps us uh, like uh, takes us to the previous page that we are currently uh, like using uh, and the forward page will take us to the next page uh, like if we have used the history page uh, back page and then we can go also go forward with the help of the forward page so we can use like two buttons to go uh, 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 to go forward and to go backward with the help of uh, this two these two simple commands so uh, i have not called that function because i am using a uh, um, because i am using the uh, like uh, the live version of a website in which i am writing my javascript code so it will take me back Uh, take me back to somewhere else and my code will lost so but you can try that so after that i just type uh, uh, i go, come to my console and i just type window dot location and i am in the uh, like the developer tools of the uh, uh, unacademy uh, website so i go to the elements tab and on the console tab i just type window dot location and i press enter i get a long uh, object uh, in this uh, in response so uh, that object also contained further many many things that i can like uh, open and, and then i can see how many things are available so you can see that uh, i can also assess a particular property of that just like window dot location dot there is a protocol property you can see uh below the port uh, and it shows https so when i pre uh, uh, press that uh, when i type that windows dot location dot uh, protocol i get https so i can check that whether a website is secure by ssl or not so i use the same code i just use the like window dot location dot protocol equals to equals to equals to https and if that both things matches then what i will get is i will get that the website is secured by ssl otherwise i will get that the website is not secured so this will help me to track out whether the website is secured or not so this is an, an uh, another way of checking the security per uh, security so i hope uh, this is it for this tutorial and thanks for watching guys and stay tuned with the academy for more videos and you can get the full source code at the following link